Hello, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Advice. Today we're going to talk about what's the best shot ratio protocol for how you want to do your TRT. And what I mean by that is there's all kinds of different, everybody has different ways of doing it. Some guys like one shot every two weeks, some guys, some doctors do one shot a month, some people do implants, some people do creams. Uh, I'm just going to talk today about injections. Uh, my p- preference is I like it just as simple as it comes. You know, I because I'm I can handle a little bit high and low uh, during the week that I just do my one shot a week protocol. Uh, and my lifestyle is I do train four days a week. I do cardio five days a week. I, you know, I, my diet ain't the best in the world. It's pretty good, but it ain't perfect. You know, I could tighten up a little bit if I wanted to, but you know, it's, it is what it is right now. I'm, I'm slowly losing about a pound every two weeks and I'm happy with that. I mean, I, I feel that's the best case for me, but by the time I'm knocking on 56, 57, I'm probably going to be down another 50 pounds. Which is fine. I mean, I would prefer going slow as a crash dieting, like doing like a, you know, that sort of thing. I don't have any want to do that. I mean, I kind of like where I'm sitting right now. So I'm slowly going down. And for that, my once a week protocol for my shot injections is fine. And I do my 140 milligrams is what I'm doing right now which leaves my hematocrit, my red blood cell count, my blood pressure, everything is kind of right across the board good right now. I mean, I found my sweet spot and it's working for me, but I'm still, next month we'll have blood work done. I'm still getting blood work done on a regular basis every three or four months because you don't know what your system is gonna do. You can't just blindly just pick a number and go and not pay attention to it. This is continual work. Continual. This is, you know, you I'll be getting blood work three times a year at least the rest of my life. Okay? So, but my protocol is one shot every Sunday morning. I'm good for the week. I ain't got to worry about it no more. I, you know, uh, and life is good. I can go get off my life and do everything I want to do one shot a week. But by set, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday... I'm telling that it's kind of going out of my system. I've gotten so accustomed to it and tuned to it that I can tell that, like I'm filming this one on a Friday, I can tell that, you know, I'm going to be ready for my shot on Sunday. I don't feel bad, but I can tell, you know, Monday and Tuesday, I'm running really nice and hot and I feel good and I'm... I, the, the Monday and Tuesday I, are definitely do not miss days with the workout, okay? And then Wednesday, Thursday, it starts drifting off a little bit. Friday, Saturday, it drifts off a little bit more. And Sunday morning, bam, I got my shot. And by Sunday night, I'm good. It's just my protocol and what I know I'm going into. So now, some guys don't like that because I've I've had my blood work checked, you know, eight, nine days out. I've not taking a shot to see where I would be like say get blood work 10 days after just as a test I've taken my blood work that way and I went from running 850 830 to 650 600 by 10 days out so I know I'm it's up and it's going down but I kind of because of the tests I've done and just experimenting, I kind of know it's weaning off of me as the ends go, but I'm fine with that. I am happy with the results of my protocol. And now some other guys that are runners that are running 100 miles per hour all the time, they might want to have a protocol of every third day. With smaller amount, but every third day, so that in... When you add it up, it ends up being the same amount, but it's spread out more. So there's less of this, so it stays like this. And 
that's the whole premise of multiple shots a week is that you keep your levels at a very steady rate. There's no ups or downs, there's no ebbs or flows, there's no waves. It's very, very steady. But that takes a lot of attention. If you have the attention span of that, if you have the willingness to want to put into work for years and years and years of pinning two and three times a week, hey, if you can do it, go ahead. I, myself, when I started, I pinned twice a week. I did Sundays and Thursdays. And it was a it was the 280 milligrams is where I started, and I was doing a, what I do one now on Sunday. I was doing Sunday and Thursdays, and I did that for the first year. And that got to be when you have a schedule, and when you have life, and you have stress, and you have everything that goes along with being a man and being the hunter protector, and everything he's got to do. You know, being on vacation, uh, traveling, anything to do with work. You know, somebody get a flat tire. You know, go help your sister do something. You know, it sometimes it's hard. I could see where it'd be very difficult if you're pinning, say, three times a week. If you're doing, say, Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. I could see where it'd be really difficult. It could be really easy to get so busy you miss a shot. I like my simplicity. I like my once a week. But if you if you prefer the no ebbs and flows and the no waves then pinning several times a week i I see no problem with it now you're going to use a lot more you know a lot more uh needles and a lot more swabs and a lot more stuff and the other thing that i would be concerned about and i was concerned about was that you know injecting yourself or taking a shot is a little bit of a russian roulette you know, it, the more shots you take, the more the percentages go up of getting, you know, getting a lump or having a bad shot or getting a little bubble of air or getting something. I mean, so I've the first year I did two shots. So you say that's 100 shots for the year. And since then, I've only done 52 shots a year for the last six. So out of seven years, we're talking 450 Okay, so I've taken 450 shots, and I change butt cheeks every week. So my right butt cheek and my left butt cheek has only gotten 225 shots over the last seven years. Where if I was pinning two and three times a week, you know, double or triple that, you know, it, that ta- you know, it sometimes it just takes, you know, just by chance rubbing that end of that needle or rubbing that needle on your finger and you inject yourself and you get a little bit of a a knot or something. I've had over seven years, I've had twice where I've had a knot in a butt cheek that I basically, I have one of those massage guns and I just massaged the piss out of it for a couple of minutes and it dispersed it and went away. But you know, you see all these horror stories of these bodybuilders and stuff that get these abscesses in their legs and their asses and their shoulders and shit and it's nasty you know so i just say that the once a week it works for me because it's simple i'm covered you know even on vacation i can like i know if i'm going to be gone for the weekend and i'm not home to take a shot because i i don't travel with it i don't take it with me i know having you know done the test 10 11 days out between shots that I get down to the 600 probably if I push to the bore I could get 500 range which is fine it's just more convenient and it's more less chance of getting a bad shot because there's always that chance of getting a bad shot and if you the, if you can lower the percentages on that then you're better off just my opinion but you guys do what you got to do as long as you're doing it safely and legally and all that kind of good schmear and you're getting good results hey god love you god bless you all right so if you're still here like share and subscribe smash that bell hit that like button tell your friends ask some questions y'all have a great day because great day today can be even better day tomorrow y'all be good